I feel like music can only ever be an expression or a reflection of who you are at any given time in your life, you know, so um, if I look back at the songs that I used to write, you know, when I was very young, you know, they were, they were more like punky and rocky and more kind of like, yeah, rebellious and, you know, just in that, because that's where I was at the time, you know, in my life, feeling, um, what is this, like, life and feeling dissatisfied with certain things and questioning certain things. And then as you grow and you evolve, you, your music just naturally is reflecting, you know, that uh, journey within. And definitely being at Sahaja is like, um, but I can't convey that with words, you know, it's just uh, a deep knowing. And uh, yeah, so it's important for me to somehow digest all the wisdom and knowledge which has been bestowed upon me and this grace and these blessings which have been bestowed upon me uh, to reflect that, you know, to, and it just does naturally, you know, I say it's important to you, but it's not really an effort, you know, it's just uh, um, happening by itself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, it's like this. So look inside and find the heart of life Whoa. And look to see what's hidden behind your eyes Whoa. And never blame the ones like Jesus Christ While I was recording the song, there was a man that came into the studio from the record label, from the company. And uh, he just didn't understand it. He was like, what is this? <laughs> what are you saying? You know, you're just repeating the same words over and over again. And uh, here's this, you know, English white guy singing Indian devotional mantras. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Anyway, afterwards I came out and I came back into the control room where they're all sitting and doing their thing. And this guy was just like this, looked at me and just went, I get it, I get it. And he, he put his hand on his heart and just said, I get it because I feel it. I don't know what you're saying, but I feel it. So that, that's what it is for me, you know, it's not about what I can attain or fame or money or any of these things because it's really meaningless. I know there's nothing in those things. Um, but it's this, you know, it's seeing that transformation in people, seeing them go from being either curious or just unhappy even or sad to, to realizing who they are, you know. <laughs> it's like there's, there's nothing greater than that for me, it's a pure joy. <laughs> When I look at you, I only see God, <laughs> so I can only sing to God, you know. I think it's been really difficult for, for me to sort of define what I do because I'm inspired by so many different types of music. Because as long as you are true, and genuine, then I don't think that matters, you know. I think people see through that. I think people may, you know, listen to one song and then it's, it's more of a reggae song, and then they might hear another song which is very mellow and very calm. But I feel like all these are different aspects of my being, you know. They're all different, you know, some are more playful and some are more mellow and more relaxing. But I would just say that it is just music from the heart, you know. What are you looking for? Is there something in the way? Trying to hold on tight to change Then let go, my friend The beginning is the end Why you come to see Is that you will always be The 
song remains the same Upasana I dance inside the storm Surasattva Dance inside the storm 